the angelus in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen the angel of the lord declared unto mary and she conceived of the holy spirit hail mary full of grace the lord is with you blessed are you amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen behold the handmaid of the lord be it done unto me according to thy word Hail Mary full of grace the lord is with you blessed are you amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen and the word was made flesh and dwelt amongst us hail mary full of grace the lord is with you blessed are you amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen pray for us o holy mother of god that we may be made worthy of the promises of christ let us pray o forth we beseech thee o lord thy grace into our hearts that we to whom the incarnation of christ thy son was made known by the message of an angel may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection through the same christ our lord amen may the divine assistance remain always with us amen may the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of god rest in peace amen glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen Kindly rise. On we go to Jerusalem, the city of the house of God. Pilgrim people, we seek the Lord, the Lord of the house of God. Each journey proclaims His praises. Each declares the Lord of Eucharist, let's pray for the following intentions. Justin Neto, 
Irland, Calderia, Mans Mein Mas, Harrison Loyal, Lud Menezes, Seven Day Mass. Along with this intention, let's also pray for all our personal intentions and those who are celebrating their birthdays and anniversaries. And let's also pray for all those intentions which are displayed on the screen. We also pray for all those who are suffering due to coronavirus. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Dear brothers and sisters, these days we are having the Novena to the Our Lady of Mount Carmel. We'll be celebrating the feast of Mother Mary as Mother of Carmel on 16th. These three days we take it as an intimate or immediate preparation for ourselves to prepare for this feast. As we journey in the during these days of Novena, we know that we have many needs and necessities. But first and foremost, what is important is that we need to live our lives according to the call that we have received through the baptism. And that's what is reflected in the life of Mother Mary, where we see her as a faithful disciple. From a very young age, she chose to be the very instrument of God. She was chosen by God, but at the same time her response was so great that she could say yes in spite of not knowing what she is going to experience after saying yes. But her courage, her great experience of following the Lord with faith makes us understand that she was a holy person. So that holiness may be experienced by each one of us. Let's ask for this grace during this Eucharist. With a contrite ask, let's ask pardon, forgiveness and pray together. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary of a Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy on us. Christ have mercy, Christ have mercy, Christ have mercy on us. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy on us. Let us pray. As we venerate the glorious memory of the Most Holy Virgin Mary, grant we pray, O Lord, through her intercession, that we too may merit to receive from the fullness of your grace. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns within the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Exodus. There was a man of the tribe of Levi who had taken a woman of Levi as his wife. She conceived and gave birth to a son 
and seeing what a fine child he was, she kept him hidden for three months. When she could hide him no longer, she got a papyrus basket for him, coating it with bitumen and pitch. She put the child inside and laid it among the reeds at the river's edge. His sister stood some distance away to see what would happen to him. Now Pharaoh's daughter went down to bathe in the river and the girls attending her were walking along by the river's side. Among the reeds she noticed the basket and she sent her maid to fetch it. She opened it and looked and saw a baby boy crying and she was sorry for him. This is a child of one of the Hebrews, she said. Then the child's sister said to Pharaoh's daughter, Shall I go and find you a nurse among the Hebrew women to suckle the child for you? Yes, go, Pharaoh's daughter said to her. And the girl went off to find the baby's own mother. To her the daughter of Pharaoh said, Take this child away and suckle it for me. I will see you are paid. So the woman took the child and suckled it. When the child grew up, she brought him to Pharaoh's daughter, who treated him like a son. She named him Moses because she said, I drew him out of the water. Moses, a man by now, set out at this time to visit his countrymen, and he saw what a hard life they were having. And he saw an Egyptian strike a Hebrew, one of his countrymen. Looking round, he could see no one in sight. So he killed the Egyptian and hid him in the sand. On the following day, he came back and there were two Hebrews fighting. He said to the man who was in the wrong, what do you mean by hitting your fellow countryman? And who appointed you? The man retorted, to be prince over us and judge. Do you intend to kill me as you killed the Egyptian? Moses was frightened. Clearly that business has come to light, he thought. When Pharaoh heard of the matter, he would have killed Moses. But Moses fled from Pharaoh and made for the land of Midian. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our response is, Seek the Lord, you who are poor, and your hearts will revive. Can you repeat? Seek, Seek the, the Lord, Lord, you who are poor, and, and your hearts will revive. I have sunk into the mud of the deep, and there is no foothold. I have entered the waters of the deep, and the waves overwhelm me. Our response? Seek, Seek the Lord, Lord, you who are poor, and your hearts will revive. This is my prayer to you and my prayer for your favor. In your great love, answer me, O God, with your help that never fails. Our response, Seek, Seek the Lord, Lord, you who are poor, and, and your hearts will me. revive. As for me in my poverty and pain, let your help, O God, lift me up. I will praise God's name with a song, I will glorify Him with thanksgiving. Our response, 
Seek the Lord, you who are poor, and your hearts will revive. The poor, when they see it, will be glad, and God's seeking hearts will revive. For the Lord listens to the needy and does not spurn his servants in their chains. Our response, Seek the Lord, you who are poor, and your hearts will revive. Kindly rise for the Gospel. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Train me, Lord, to observe your law. To keep it with my heart. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory be to you, O Lord. Jesus began to reproach the towns in which most of his miracles have been worked because they refused to repent. Alas for you, Chorazin, alas for you, Bethsaida, for if the miracles done in you had been done in Tyre and Sidon, they would have repented long ago in sackcloth and ashes. And still, I tell you that it will not go as hard on judgment day with Tyre and Sidon as with you. And as for you, Capernaum, did you want to be exalted as high as heaven? You shall be thrown down to hell, for if the miracle is done in you and been done in Sodom, it would have been standing at. And still, I tell you that it, would, it will not go as hard with the land of Sodom on Judgment Day as with you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Dear brothers and sisters, as we reflect these days on the life of Mary, it is important to focus on life in few aspects that is very interesting. First and foremost, we hear the gospel of today. There were people who did not respond to the call that which was given by Jesus. He was preaching, teaching, healing people, but there were lots of miracles, but people did not understand what he was speaking about or what he was doing. Their faith was so difficult to be transformed because they believed in themselves and they were led to the destruction. That's what is seen in the, these two towns, Horazin and Bethsaida. On the other hand, when we reflect in the readings and uh, the scripture of Old Testament as well as New Testament, we have a number of examples where the providence of God has been believed and there is a transformation in the lives of people especially from the beginning of the Old Testament. We see the life of Abraham. Abraham was a young man who was called by God and then there he responds to go to the promised land because he was given a mandate. He was given a greater experience with God and then he was also promised a greater posterity, greater wealth and then he believed in God that God could transform his life. 
Then we have another example, Noah. In the desert area, when he was asked to build the ark, he believed in God's command and he also built a beautiful ark. And thereafter, we see the great saving act of God in the life of Noah and his family. Thereafter, we have another example, Moses, in the today's first reading, being saved from his own life where he was about to be killed by Pharaoh because he himself was saved from the uh, killing at a young age very, when he was a little baby and thereafter again when he was speaking about justice to the people of Egyptians then he killed the Egyptian thereafter he had to flee, flee from the land of Egypt to Midian where he was saved and then he was sent back again to Egypt to save his people and his command was to Moses to build a beautiful community of Israel. There he got also the commandments of love of God and love of neighbor. Ten commandments which give us the beautiful journey of the life of Israel community and they each one responded to God with that great reverence to God. Thereafter we have Esther. Daniel, these are the other people who responded to God's call and Esther became the queen and Daniel at a young age saved his people from the death when he was put in that uh, place of the animals and he saved himself and he also was able to save the people of Israel because of his faith. And here in the New Testament we have a call of Mary. Mary being the mother, a person very young, very little child we can say because she was just 12 to 14 years when she received this call from Angel Gabriel. When Gabriel, Angel Gabriel spoke to her, he says, peace be with you. The Lord is with you and has greatly blessed you. These are the words at times today if it comes to us, what would be our response? Our response would be something like we would like to have greater wealth, something like we would like to have a job, something like we would like to have a health. If God comes to us or speaks to us, what would we want to respond to? That we would respond to the things that which are very personal and egoistic attitude that which can come out of our lives. But in the life of Mary, it was different. When she experienced that encounter with the Gabriel, angel Gabriel, she just responded to that call. And whatever was promised to her, that she responded at the end saying, I am the Lord's servant. May it happen to me as you have said, which means surrendering completely to the call of God. She was able to give herself as the servant of God and that servanthood was followed up to the end. She gave birth to the child, Jesus, thereafter she took care of him and thereafter when she was again and again encountering with Jesus, like different examples we have, wherever we see that Mary helped Jesus to be the greater person with God as well as a person of God to be in the presence of the people. In that one of the beautiful examples we have is when Mary visited Jesus that other people inform Jesus that your mother and brothers have come to visit you where Jesus says the my mother and brothers are those who do the will of God and Mary fulfilled this will in her life because she was the only person. And again we have another instance at wedding at Cana. Mary intervenes and demonstrates the power of Jesus where she becomes the host to the people who are in need. Then we have the end of the gospel according to John where Mary is given to John the disciple where she is considered as the mother not only of Jesus but also mother of the church 
And we have the final encounter of Mary in the scripture where she keeps the disciples together to encounter that spirit of the Lord where they had to preach the gospel and make the people aware of God's work through Jesus. And in all these circumstances, what we see is an integrated person, a holy person, Mary being the model to all of us as a true disciple to bring people to God and also to take God to the people. A instrument, an instrument who makes us understand God, when he is responded, will never betray or will never leave, leave you alone. He will always lead you. Not with the wealth that we expect, but with the wealth that God destines us. So, as we journey during this Novena days, let us pray. God may help us and also help one another to lead a life that which is called like of Mary. That we may experience God's presence in our lives. That we may listen, we may respond and we may come to that experience of leading Jesus in our lives as well as in the lives of one another. So, during this Eucharist, let's pray for this grace. Father, give the gifts we bring, listen to the prayer we sing. Sanctify your sacrifice from heaven above. Draw us close to you, we pray, by the bread we give this day. May we live by this great mystery of love. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands. It is in glory of His name, for our good and good of all His holy church. We offer you the sacrifice of praise, O Lord, as we rejoice in commemorating the mother of your Son. Grant, we pray, that through this host holy exchange, we may advance towards eternal redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation to praise your mighty deeds in the exaltation of all the saints and especially as we celebrate the memory of the Blessed Mary Ever Virgin. To proclaim your kindness as we echo a thankful hymn of praise. For truly even to earth's ends you have done great things and extended your abundant mercy from age to age. When you looked on the lowliness of your handmaid, you gave us through her, the author of our salvation, your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him, the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Holy, Lord, holy, holy, Lord, holy God of hope. Glory, glory, O Son, O Son.
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by setting down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was sent, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that we have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and also gracious our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co to eternal life, may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. To him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. As we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours, now, now and, and forever. forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who set your poses, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. Who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. With the receiving of your body and blood, Lord Jesus Christ, not bring me judgment and condemnation, but through your loving mercy, be for me protection in mind, body, healing remedy. Mm -hmm. 
Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Renewed with this heavenly foot, we humbly implore you, Lord, that having received your Son, born of the tender virgin, under sacramental signs, we may profess him in words and hold fast to him in deeds, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks, Thanks be to, to God. God. Novena prayer to Our Lady of Mount Carmel. O Mary, beauty of Carmel, make us worthy of your protection, clothe us with your scapula and be the teacher of our interior life to grow in God's merciful love. Mary, flower of Carmel and Immaculate Mother, turn to the favor of your, your children, Lord. Lord. We, your children, rejoice in all your virtues. We, we admire you, your humility. We rejoice in your mercy. mercy. Let us pray. O glorious Virgin Mary, Queen of Carmel, Mother of God, and of poor sinners, special protectors of all those who wear the holy scapula, we supplicate you by the glory that has been accorded you by the incarnate word in choosing you for his mother to obtain for us the pardon of our sins, amendment of life, consolation in our face, and in particular the grace we ask in this novena. Let's pray for all our personal intentions our families, especially those who are sick, those who are jobless,
the students elderly people let's also pray for all those who are not having anybody to take care of them provided it be confirmable to the will of your divine son amen hail mary full of grace lord's with thee blessed art thou among men and blessed is the fruit of thy womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death hail mary full of grace lord's with thee blessed art thou among men and blessed is the fruit of thy womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death hail mary full of grace lord's with thee blessed art thou among men and blessed is the fruit of thy womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen glory be to the father and to the son and to the the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen queen beauty of carmel pray, pray for, for us o ma mariam tirana sare jag mein danya hai o ma mariam tirana सारे जग में धन्य है पापी है हम ओ मा मरियम कर प्रार्थना तेरी दया से ले जाए नैया पापों के पार ओ मा सारे जग में धन्य है 